Hi, welcome to the channel, the is Safe by Pay, and thanks for coming by and visiting. Uh, for those of you that have been longtime subscribers, we're coming back. We have a lot of content, a lot of gear that you're going to appreciate. So hang tight. We've got stuff coming for you along the way. Today, we got a couple things we want to showcase for the future. This is our 10.3 URGI setup right here. It's switching away from the uh, Block 2 Mark 18s. And uh, in particular, we're going to look at this one, the 14.5 URGI, and uh, specifically the Vortex. 1 to 6 optic right here, right? The replica, which we got from Spec Precision. So first things first, disclosure. I bought this replica of the Vortex HD Gen 2 1 to 6 LPVO by, with my own money. Um, Spec Precision does not get any input on what I say about this. These pins are my own, and they do not get to see um, this video before it's been uh, released onto YouTube. So with that being said, right, I have bought products from before. I do like their company. However, these opinions are mine and mine my own. So first off, chamber check, which are here, magazines out. This is a gas blowback rifle. These are both Tokyo Marui MWS has been converted for their respective designs. This is URGI 14.5, um, empty, no round, magazine out, done. So LPVOs have been exploding onto the market, especially amongst real steel shooters. It's less practical, I could say, but definitely usable on the airsoft realm because airsoft, you're, you can't extend the ranges like you would do in a real steel. With that being said, magnified optics, especially the replica versions of airsoft, have come a long way. This is for airsoft purposes, so, I'm gonna, so this review is gonna come from that standpoint, right? Can you use this as a, as a real steel in place of the real one? Maybe, right? But I wouldn't put my life on it, right? It is marketed towards the airsoft crowd, so therefore, that's where I'm gonna come from this. I would say the approximation that they did towards a real steel is very, very good. Now, I, let's just state off right off the bat, I do not have a real steel vortex to compare it to. So I can't say, well, this is identical, perfect like that. Um, from, but from pictures that I've seen in videos, in um, the manufacturer, stuff like that, it looks legit. Appearance-wise, the color is very similar to, um, like if you would see a, a rail on the uh, Mark 18, how it almost has that burnt dark earth color. That's the color you're going for. You can see these different shades of FDE or whatever you want to call it. So to do my uh, grand thumb impression here, we're going to start from front to back. It's just the easiest way to do it. Front, we have a um, kill flash that they've included, which I was kind of surprised that they did. I actually bought a, a real steel one to put onto it. Unfortunately, the threads don't quite um, made up very well. Uh, it's a uh, Tenebrex one, Tenebrex one. So um, they give you a kill flash to, that threads on very nicely. And it's actually the same color of the scope, which is kind of nice because the, the Tenebrex one is a black color, which obviously it's in contrast with the rest of it. Um, in Airsoft, you might not care so much about um, flash signature, like the glint that may come off the scope. If you ever seen it in Call of Duty, you know how they have the a thing and you play in Modern Warfare, have the scope glint. Um, but what you will care about is BB strikes, right? And I have been shot twice, as I can kind of see here, and it saved the scope. So if you're going to play airsoft, you're going to use it, put it on. You'll, you'll be thankful. Uh, next thing is that we have uh, the uh, turret caps right here for the elevation and windage. Um, they, they screw on, screw off nicely. And under it, they, you have the uh, adjustments right here, which are quite nice, actually, because they're, they give a little tactile click, which uh, feels responsive as opposed to just simply um, feeling a mushy feeling, right? It's, it's nice tactile click right there. Um, on the other side, we have the illumination dial, which goes to 11. Also, we have the magnification adjustment here, which also comes with the throw lever, which is quite nice. So you don't have to buy that extra. 
And then lastly, we have the ocular adjustment here. This is to change the, the um, crosshair uh, clarity, right? So you can adjust it for your eye to see when it becomes clear, and then you just leave it there and set it alone. Um, besides that, it comes with the uh, scope covers, which I take off when I don't play because I just don't want to lose them. So, but when I store it, I put them on. So when I ordered this scope from Spectrization, I ordered it with the Unity Fast LPVO mount right here. So this gives it a, um, about 2.09 inches above the, uh, the rail right here, which allows me to clear the D ball I have here. And that was one of my concerns is that, you know, I didn't want to have it sit so low that it would cover it right there and I wouldn't be able to see over it. So right here, I, even though at one power I can still see it, but it's very, very um, pleasant. I don't have a lot of occlusion right here blocking what I can see downrange. And, and when I boost it up to six, I don't even see it at all, right? I just see my reticle. Another thing I forgot to mention is something that's replicated from the real Vortex is that this is a second focal plane optic, meaning that the reticle does not change size and it doesn't depend upon what magnification you're at, whether you're at one power or six, the reticle stays the same, which is nice in my opinion because I've seen some reticles where the, at the one power it's so small you can barely see it and you, when you bump it up all the way to six, eight, or ten, then it, it's nice, right? This is the same, so whether when you're using this, if you want to use this for CQB, which you still, you can. I've used it for CQB. And then also this compared to Neotech, you, could, you have the advantage of having that one to six power or anything in between, right? With a uh, EOTech or any type of red dot, you would have to have a magnifier in the rear. Obviously you add all those mounts together, you're, you're, you're coming close to kind of weight like this. So besides the magnification, the adjustment dial for the illumination, it's a, it's a simple red dot that you have your crosshairs and in the middle is that dot that is illuminated. It goes from zero to 11, like I mentioned before, but it, it's very bright. Um, looking at it right now, I, typically when I play, I put it at 11, I want the maximum brightness. Now, can you see it at the other ones? Yeah, you can. It's noticeable at eight, nine, 10, but 11 I feel is where I feel comfortable, especially in daylight bright settings, noon to about three o'clock when we play in games. I'm able to see that dot quite clearly and pick it up without having to search for it. And that's a very welcome feature, which I like about it a lot. Okay, so enough about the physical appearances. Yes, it looks very uh, close uh, as, they, as the website says on Spec Precision website, but how does it look like, right? How does it look like, what's the glass clarity and everything like? Well, let me just look right through right now and I'll say the glass clarity is extremely clear it's almost like looking through a window. I see very little um, fish eye around it. There's a lot of light transmission coming through, so I don't see a haze or anything like that. It's exceptionally clear, right? I can see my cross here is very, very defined here. There is very little um, shadowing. Obviously, on the eye box, if I'm over to the left, to the right, there's a little bit, but I'm lined up, it's perfect. And I, a little bit over, a little bit to the left or right, I can still see clearly about what I'm looking down range. The same thing can be said if I go to, to the six power, uh, I can still quickly perceive what I'm looking at. It's very clear, the colors are very vibrant. As you can see here, the eye relief is very good as well. I'm about right here, and uh, it's about what, four, four inches, I'd say. On the high power, same thing. About right there, I get no scope shadow. Very good eye relief for those of you that have used an optic where you had to get so close. Like I used to have an ACOG way back, and I had to get my eye up like right here. It's nice being able to be able to be back on the stock and be able to look clearly without getting so close to the, to the, eye, the rear eyepiece. So in conclusion, I'd like to say this is a very welcome purchase for myself. In the past, I've always stayed away from magnified optics um, manufactured for airsoft. I just never felt the quality was quite there. 
I mean, it looked the part, but functionality-wise, it just, it was kind of like junk, to be honest, right? You know? But the last couple of years, things have becoming, not just appearance-wise, which is phenomenal, right? It is, the replicas are just almost imperceivable from the real things at this point, um, especially with this EOTech and this, and this um, Vortex right here. But the function has come a long way, too. And I can say this is very usable, very pleasant to use, right? It's, I use these in games a lot. I normally not a magnifier type of guy or a magnified optics person. I usually stick to something like this where we have EOTech or something because it's just the speed of it is just unmatched, right? And but and I've never felt I wanted or needed the magnification. But after using something like this, this uh, replica of the uh, Vortex HD Razor, it's very nice, and I find myself using this a lot more now. I used to have ACOGs and LCANs, and I just I bought it just for looks, to be honest, and it just really didn't do anything, really. This one is, it just, it does and looks great. So, enough said about that. So if you wanna get something like this, check out Specs Precision's website if you're interested like that. That's where I got it from. Again, thanks for coming by, watching this channel. I hope it was informative, at the very least, entertaining. I'm CFSA58, thanks for coming by. See you again, thanks and God bless.